Hey there, are you looking to move your 2014 2017 Quicken software? Well, I've successfully moved it from Windows 10 to Windows 11, and I wanted to share with you the steps that I took to successfully move my Quicken 2015. Now, according to what I've read, uh, many people have not been able to, to move their, their version of Quicken or activate or validate it because once you try to log in to the Quicken server, you get a blank page on the Quicken software. And apparently this is happening for versions 2014 to 2017. So the steps I took was basically to copy my Quicken files, all of my Quicken files, and then um, put in the Mundo patch. And then I finally opened it. And I've outlined the steps in this video so you can follow along. Uh, unfortunately, I can't demonstrate it to you because I've already done it and I don't want to run the risk of, of losing what I already have. But I'm very confident that you may have the same level of success that I did. So I hope this helps someone and thank you so much for listening and watching my video.